as we all sit back and we're enjoying a lot of these uh stores and stuff out here are starting to get really stocked up actually they're getting really overstocked aren't they folks i mean the, the shortages seem to have gone away uh the food shortages seem to be uh backing off but maybe that is because a lot of the prices and stuff have gone so far up that a lot of people can't afford to buy extra and a lot of people can't afford to prep uh, we have all been warning you about that it was going to take place and i believe it is happening as we speak now a lot of these stores are also facing a huge surplus of goods that they're going to have to do something with really soon because you see folks a lot of these goods are over a year old a lot of these goods were bought and paid for last year and they just never re-arrived and they're just now arriving at you know their destination finally are reaching the end point now i did do a video last sunday and i was talking about something that i did talk to a manager at a sam's and in the warehouse now, you know i mean there was a lot of comments and everything on that video and i want to just clarify something real quick i was not talking about all food products being coming over on container ships yes there are some food products that move through the system on containers and they also come across from overseas but what i was mostly talking about was a lot of the normal goods and services that we use on a daily basis that we buy at a lot of different retailers i was not pushing sam's club now also let me just uh, also just point out one thing here folks these videos are meant to bring information to you to try to keep you informed about what is going on out there that you're not hearing about in the news this is face it folks um ever since the um this past week there's only been one thing on the tv and one thing only and we all know what that is i don't have to bring it up and i will not bring it up on this particular video what has really taken place is is what we have to pay attention to is the major ports in china u.s and europe are facing long delays once again okay uh, off the port in Singapore, there are 344 vessels that are currently waiting to be either unloaded or to be reloaded so they, they can return to the ports that they have to go to. Now, their ports are between um, here in the United States, Europe, and over towards India, which they also have a lot of their ships do come straight directly to the United States because... Once again, we cannot make anything here, so we have to import whatever it is that we want right down to the socks and underwear that you all are wearing at this point in time. At least I'm assuming you're wearing those. And you also have to realize is a lot of these containers that they finally did get delivered were full of all types of goods from clothes and to, from coffee pots to bread machines, uh, refrigerators, Wash machines, dryers, dishwashers, computers, printers, TVs, camcorders, video equipment, stereos, all this kind of stuff has been setting in these containers. Now, a lot of these retailers have already announced that they are going to be running a lot of huge sales because this is old product, folks. It's just like if you go and you buy a brand new computer today, tomorrow it is considered obsolete. You get the point? That's the same with any type of electronics, any type of those type of goods. They're last year's goods. They're obsolete. There's all these new products that are going to be coming out. And those they got to get rid of. Because they're setting on millions and billions of dollars worth of inventory that aren't worth anything anymore. So they're going to have to take a cut and take a hit. They've, a lot of the big retailers have already lowered their expectations on their profit margins for this next quarter because of this. Now what does this mean for you? Maybe you're going to get some good deals and stuff. But I would be buyer beware because you want to make sure that if you are purchasing all these electronics and stuff, make sure that there is a way that you can return them once you get them home and they do not work. Make sure that there is a way you can return and get your money back. 
because you might get a good deal, but you might get a home and it doesn't work. Let's just face it. Electronics don't like extreme cold and they do not like extreme heat in which they are getting sitting on these containers for the past year, wherever they have been. Whether it's been sitting on the ship, sitting out in the yard, sitting on the railroad, or sitting in a you know, a yard somewhere waiting for some truck to pick it up and continue it on down the road. So somewhere along the lines, a lot of this stuff has been setting. Eventually what's going to take place is a lot of these prices and stuff are going to be filtered back down to us because let's just face it folks, these people aren't going to take a huge loss. They're just going to pass the prices on to us. So if you do need something, if you do need to upgrade something, uh, if you can still afford, I think a lot of the reason the food shortage has gone, well, away for now is because a lot of people just can't afford to stock up and try to do anything to be prepared anymore. They've been priced right out of that subject. And it's something that I've been talking about for a very long time that this would happen and take place. And I believe it has because a lot of people can barely afford just to put basic food on the table. Working class people and they can barely f afford to put basic food on the table. There's a problem here, folks. I hope you all can see it. So what is also taking place is you're also supposed to be having like a, like a million containers right now were due to travel from China to Europe by train. Well, because of all the sanctions, the war and everything else that's going on over the Russian Ukraine and everything, they cannot take the train through there. So they're having to put all these goods onto container ships that are costing uh, roughly right now about a hundred and thirty thousand dollars a day to run because they eat up so much diesel fuel you see there's a lot of things that run off diesel fuel that a lot of people just don't realize and when you have something that big that carries that much that's a lot of cash per day and somebody's going to be paying the prices for all these extended prices that are going up on these container ships and moving all this product. You figure once it even gets to a port, then it has to be unloaded, put on a train. A train uses diesel fuel. Okay, the train's gonna take the product so far, then it's gonna be put on a truck that uses diesel fuel. And then he's gonna bring it down. And he's gonna deliver it to whoever ordered the products. So where are we at here, folks? We're at basically, you know, I mean, it's kind of a slap in the face if you ask me, but you know, I mean, hey, this is just part of the new normal, folks. You've just got to be really prepared and you have to stay focused. And hopefully maybe you can get some good deals coming up real soon because this is what's coming down the pike. They're going to have to move all the old product for the new product that they're going to hope to get in because they're running 74 days behind. And then it's got to get moved across the country. So if you really think about it, I'd say around 100 days before it actually hits its destination. So eventually we will probably run into having shortages once again on a lot of different products. Because you also have to realize is a lot of your canned goods or anything that's in a can, we buy all our tin from China. Let that sink in for a few moments. So I'm survival preparedness for beginners. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. If you can, maybe look for some good deals if you need to do some upgrades in your home as far as any type of electronics because and clothes too. Maybe you may want to look at buying early school clothes just for the fact you don't know what you're going to get come when school goes back in. I mean, school's just getting out now, but if they start running sales, maybe you can get some good deals and save some money. Because remember, by August, they're talking that the gas prices are going to be over $6 a gallon. And they're also saying that diesel fuel is going to be between $7.30 and 8 bucks a gallon. And when that happens, a lot of trucks are going to be parked. A lot of trains will be parked. And a lot of the big shipping containers will just be floating around at sea because they'll be empty. Until next time, I'll catch you 
all on the flip side. <laughs>